The good old hockey game came to Huntsville this past weekend with alumni players from the Toronto Maple Leafs taking on some local talent on the ice and all for a good cause. Each one of the seats filled in the Canada Summit Centre on Saturday represented a piece of funding that will go towards an outdoor sports pad for the community. And while the man behind the creation of this event could not be here to see it, the name of the late Ross Kerwin was not forgotten by event organizers or hockey fans. Well, I'm sure Ross is looking down on us. And uh, uh, this was an, uh, a vision that he had to, to build a four season sports pad up at Lions Lookout, uh, which is badly needed in Huntsville. And uh, uh, yeah, and hopefully it'll come to fruition in the next year or two. And uh, this, is, this is the start of it uh, in terms of seed money. And uh, it's just exciting to see the support the community and the businesses have uh, uh, you know, provided to this initiative. It, it is the one sad note uh, on this entire night is that Ross Corwin couldn't be here with us. But as you say, his legacy is going to live on through this and, and through the sports pad that hopefully gets built through this. And, uh, and just all of the fun that, that the crowd has here tonight. And, uh, you know, I think we'll all hold Ross close in our hearts and think of him tonight because he was so instrumental in making this happen. Of course, the main attraction on Saturday was the roster for the Toronto Maple Leafs alumni. Big names like Clark, Iafredi, and of course, Vive hit the ice with community support for Huntsville in mind. First of all, to support the community, uh, like all these people coming out here, I think it's wonderful and, and also to see us and, and hopefully we can play somewhat similar to what we used to be able to, but I, I doubt it. While Ross Kerwin was at the heart of this event, it couldn't have come together without the work of the entire Rotary Club of Huntsville, with members giving their time to ensure a fantastic time was had by all. Rotary is a fabulous organization and it's always involved not only at the community level but at world level with polio and what have you but uh, uh, these local initiatives are, are really exciting for our members and, and you know I, I would say three quarters of the Rotary are volunteering tonight and uh, yeah 